because of your leadership. So thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Uh, uh, as the governor has just announced, um, this is issuing going to be forever, like the governor said. It will last longer than any of us want. Yeah. But in the end, we will look back and see it as just tomorrow happened in our whole lives. And we have to remember that. We definitely still gonna be out here though. How can soccer or football football be so dangerous? <laughs> Why ask so much of people for just a few right. hundred cases? My son been because on lockdown. He in, he in New York. He been on lockdown for like almost a week now. Because the numbers you see today, sixteen, are the people that got sick a week ago. Yeah. And there are still people today. Who they talking about forty million people in California. They picked up putting the them on lockdown and it will take a week to see that show in our numbers. a lot of people waiting for hospitals yeah. to be overwhelmed will leave I think uh, certain areas like nowhere to go I think some areas they don't even they like completely so locked down I think the healthy and optimistic I want to say San Francisco will do the vulnerable it was we have to fight this fire before it grows too high. These extreme restrictions may seem... Oak Park got locked down, what? To, was it yesterday or today? Because it's really hard to Oak feel you're saving the world when you're watching Netflix from your couch. Yeah. But if we do this right, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A successful shelter... Yeah, it's been looking crazy on the streets. No cars, really. Like it was all for nothing. <laughs> but it's like, you know, every Friday... Everybody's out, but now it's like, is this a, is this a Saturday? Even starting now, we can't stop the cases from coming back. At least for the next couple of weeks and in the short term. But with a real commitment to sheltering in He was out here a second ago. We can help protect our critical workers. All right. We need to use public transportation in order to safely get from where they need where they need to go. We can give our factories time to ramp up production of all that PPE so that we have enough masks to last. And we can make more medications and learn more about how we can use them to help save more lives. Even a little time, it makes a huge difference. It will take more than a week to start seeing the rate of increase slow down. And that's a complicated thing to say. It'll take even longer to see the rate come down and see it slowing and infections going down. So please don't give up. I've lived in Illinois my entire life. And I know we'll get through this together and find a way back to the life that we used to live. Public health and hospitals have been working hard for a long time and now it's your turn to do your part.